What's up, YouTube? This is Joel with True Life Investing. Hope you've been having a great day. Wow. Look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. This day trading is hard. It is extremely difficult. I don't want to go really too much into what happened today, but uh, I made some moves on a uh, company you might know called Twitter. They had a lot of news circulating. I'm actually going to go to the, uh, I'm going to minimize this, make this a little bit smaller. Pull this down right here. And I'm going to show you, there's a lot of news going around this. In the past couple of days, Twitter has been kind of exploding. Um, and the news behind this is that for one, they are hiring engineers because they're trying to build a new subscription platform. Um, and then also too, if you haven't heard in the news, a lot of people are boycotting Facebook. So they got to advertise somewhere. Twitter. So that's where, you know, Twitter, Snapchat, you know, uh, that's where, where it says right here, shares of those are soaring, they're getting larger. And so today they actually had a huge jump. I bought two calls options on those. Yeah, this, this hurts y'all. Started out today at 86 bucks. Went through, bought the calls, went down all the way to $27. It went up. I could have exited here. Could have made $5 today, but I didn't. Because I think I was actually taking a nap. So, yeah. Oh, well. You know what? It happens. That's life. Um, so, wake up around here. And, you know, the whole time I'm thinking, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Um, but they ended up the day right here. That We're not worrying too much about it because um, if we look at the Twitter actual um, stock price, it went up 51 cents after hours. So, I... Hopefully it'll go up tomorrow, we'll make some money, but that's not what this video is gonna be about. So what I wanna to talk to you about this video is don't put all your eggs in one basket. We're new to investing this way, but one thing I've actually been doing for quite a while is I have a 401k with the company I work for. If your company offers this, great. Um, ours, you know, they offer uh, the 401k and then they match up to a certain percentage and then um, that's, you know, essentially free money that they're giving you if you invest, you know, um, with your paycheck. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my goodness, no, I, I have to use every penny. Let me tell you this. Even if you take 3% from your check and you, it, it, if it's done pre-tax, which you can do, um, it's going to save you so much money in the long run. And it's going to make you so much more money in the long run and after a month you won't even notice that that it's not even there so think about it if you give say your employer matches up to three percent hundred percent so you give three percent they give three percent so essentially you're putting six percent of your check into uh an index fund or whatever that you know you put it in i'm actually going to show you what i'm putting my mine into i'm actually going to give you a real life example uh, based upon some data that I've been getting and show you where your money can be at by just giving 3% of your check every single month, every single week. Essentially, if you get paid weekly um, or however it happens, but 3% of your annual salary, you can be a millionaire by the time you retire. If, you know, by these metrics. And I'm going to show you, they're really easy to understand, but this is something with index funds. They're very different than what we, we what we have been doing. So with index funds, one specifically the S and P 500, 500 of the top largest companies in the United uh, in the uh, New York Stock Exchange, you're essentially investing in. A small percentage of each of those companies creates the whole index fund. Now what this is great is I actually have a list of all the companies, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this down in the link below. But you've got Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook. You've got Alphabet, who owns Google, Johnson & Johnson, Berkshire Hathaway. You've got Visa, Procter Gamble, all these huge companies that you've heard about, that you know that are household names. By you investing into like the S&P 500, you are actually investing your money into this, into all of these companies. Now think about it. If I have one basket and I put all my money in it, and then I lose it all, it sucks, you know, you're screwed. But say I have 500 companies and I put a little bit of money in each and every one of those 500 companies, then what if one company uh, goes down? What if one company tanks? That's okay. I got 499 that are still doing good. I'm still making money. 
The S&P uh, 500 uh, essentially has averaged a 10% return on your money for the past like 90 years. It's crazy. Um, you you might know this guy. I don't, I don't know. You might be living under a rock, but I'm gonna tell you this. There's this famous guy. No, he's really smart. He's a billionaire. We're not really close, but his name is Warren Buffett. You might have heard of him. This guy says that the for most people, I'm saying for everybody, for most people, the best thing to do is to own some kind of index fund. And when he says that, he right here they start talking about the S&P 500. They're saying that you know, even uh, Warren Buffett said. Warren Buffett can't, it's right here, even Warren Buffett can't beat the stock market. Essentially, is Warren, you know, can Warren Buffett beat the average percentage that you're going to get on an annual return if, if he were to pick out the stocks? And he even goes to say that, hey man, I, it would be hard for anybody to do, and especially even him, and that's why he bets so much on the S&P 500. And he says it right here, look, CNN, Warren Buffett says he can't beat the S&P 500. So what he's basically saying is, out of all these companies, if you were to invest in here, you're making a smart move. You're talking about, he's like the godfather of investing. Warren Buffett says, hey, I can't beat the S&P 500. You probably should invest in the S&P 500 for a good reason. A lot of these companies are doing really, really well. They're making lots of monies and they're continuing to grow. And they've also said that this crazy stock you've heard of too, Tesla, might be joining the S&P 500, which I would love that because they're kicking butt. Right now, they literally, let's just look at what Tesla has done in the past year, has grown by over a $1,100 or 1,100 points on their shares. This is insane. I, I would love for the S for this to join the S&P 500. This would be amazing. It'd make the, make the uh, S&P 500 go up. And one of the things I wanna show you is what I'm invested in through my 401k, I actually use Vanguard. And if you look at our uh, the 10-year um, essentially average return, now Vanguard's S&P 500 index fund or 500 index fund, as you can see right here, closely matches what the real S&P 500 index fund has as far as like companies. I'm not saying they're exactly the same. I'm just saying it's pretty close. And the S&P 500 over the past 10 years has averaged almost 14%, and so has the 500 index fund. And this is where I have my 401k. Because I mean, when you look at the rest of the uh, index funds, I mean, this is doing so, so well. So why not invest into something that has historically done really, really well? So one of the things I wanna show you is, you know, I've talked about the, you know, I believe you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket because I believe you know we're learning how to day trade, we're learning how to do these investments through Robinhood, and we're gonna continue to do that. Because for one, I love it, I think it's fun. I love watching the stock market all day and hoping and learning and growing, and I know right now I pretty much suck. I've, been, I've lost money, but it's a part of the journey. And the people that, this is, I'm gonna tell you this, I want you to listen up right now. The people that get into this, get into Robinhood, and they get in it and they start investing for about two months and then they lose $100, $200, maybe even a little bit more. And then they decide to exit and they want to badmouth the stock market. You didn't put the time that it takes to be something within investing. You think that you can come into a business, which essentially is, and, de and, and you're dealing with people around the entire world, very, very smart people, smarter than me by far, and think that I could come in and just have my way with the market and just win, 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 win. No, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take effort, just like professional athletes. They don't get to where they're at because they just walked in the stadium. No, they busted their butt, they worked hard, they were disciplined, they eat right, and they train. That's how they're the best, and they've increased those talents. In order for us to get to where we wanna go, we have to study, we have to train, we have to research, in investing and that's where if we stick with it we know we're gonna lose money that's just a part of it you got to take your hits but if you stick with it you can do well Warren Buffett has been investing for like practically his entire life look where he's at he didn't give up he didn't stop even whenever there was years where he lost money the guy kept pushing forward he still kept investing so I'm telling you guys 
we're not we're gonna be getting into a lot more stuff not with just Robin Hood investing because remember this is true life investing this is investing into your you know um, into your life as far as like even if you have a family investing into your mind you know reading books investing into your health of you know exercising and staying fit and staying you know healthy this is investing in you know with our finances there's so much to life and that's why I named it named this channel true life investing because I want to encompass all of that now we're starting off with this day trading but now I'm kind of, that's where I'm gonna bring in this 401k now let's get right into it and I'm gonna show you if you make forty five thousand dollars a year let's just say you made forty five thousand dollars a year if you were to contribute three percent you made forty five thousand dollars a year and let's just say this say you are the most mediocre employee in the entire world you never get a raise you never get a promotion all you do is you go you do your job and you do the minimum to stay exactly where you're at for essentially 35 years because right now we're just setting the age of 30 you're gonna retire at 35 say you don't never get a raise you contribute and you have no money in your 401k with the average rate of return we just put it at 13 percent you're gonna total employee contributions 47,000 we're gonna employer match like I said before you know there's some companies that do that hopefully yours does the same 3% in 35 years this is how much you're gonna have you're gonna be a millionaire and I know it's like wait what so let's calculate that up you know I like to do things like this I'm just gonna search for a calculator and then let's do it like this so if you make forty five thousand dollars sorry forty five thousand dollars a year divided by 52 weeks so say you get paid weekly equals 50 uh, 865 dollars pre-tax so let's say minus three percent That's twenty-five dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, twenty-five dollars ninety-six cents. So that's twenty-six dollars. You mean to tell me that each week you can't think of your future? Give twenty-six dollars to a four hundred one k. You give twenty-six dollars a week. You don't think about it. Three percent. Your employer matches it. In total, you essentially contribute forty-seven thousand dollars of your for thirty-five years. That's the money you put in there not including the employer they put in their employer right here they put in they matched you but you alone put in forty seven thousand dollars and then by the time you retire you're a millionaire actually 1.5 that's amazing that's what compound interest does that's what being able if you have a 401k this is amazing because think about it I believe that in time we will make money with day trading with getting into the stock market and investing but guess what you always got to have something else on the side you always got to have a plan B this is for me essentially I have a plan B I also have a plan C and I'll get more into that later in another video but with here you actually will make 1.5 million dollars off of a $47,000 investment stretched over 35 years now tell me who wouldn't want that that's crazy Let's say this. Let's say that you know what? You're a great employee and your 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 annual salary increases by 2% because you know what? You're doing great. Let's see how much of this grows by just 2%. Wow. Over 300,000. Mm, close to it. 300,000. That's amazing. By you just doing your job and getting an annual raise. People, I'm telling you this. With True Life Investing, we're going to be investing in Robinhood. We're investing in Weeble. We're going to be investing into our 401ks. And there's some other things we're going to be investing in too in our life. And I hope that everybody watching this video and those that continue to watch it, that you that you stick with us, you know. Right now, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I am sucking at this, this day trading. Look at this. I put $206 in, and right now I have 30 bucks. Almost 31 bucks. <laughs> but... I knew that. I knew that going in. I know that I have to learn. I know how I have to take my hits. I have to go through and figure this out. I'm not going to stop. Neither am I going to stop giving to my 401k because I want to be a millionaire one day. And you too 
you can be a millionaire one day too. I believe that. And so we're going to stick with this. I hope that you learned something from here. Please, if, if, if you're, even if your employer doesn't um, do a 401k or anything like that, you can still contribute to like a Roth IRA, which, you know, we're going to bring that in another video. And I'm going to teach more about that because I'm actually doing that as well. Because I believe that, you know, if I cut back now just by a little bit, and invest for my future, it's gonna bring a return. I can see myself retiring by the time I'm 50, even earlier than that, hopefully. And you can too, and so we're gonna bring that all in this channel. You're gonna see everything. I'm gonna be fully transparent, and it's gonna be awesome. And hopefully you learned, old Warren Buffett teaches us a couple of things. So you can't beat, you can't beat the S&P 500. You saw right here, You can anybody can go to here. I'm actually gonna put this in the link uh, in the description, I'm going to put the, a list of the 500 uh, companies that comprise of the uh, S&P 500 in uh, the description as well. And you know what? I'll go ahead and even throw this link in there as well so you can read and have that and watch the video and just hear him say it for himself. But I hope this helps you out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button so we can keep growing. And remember, this is True Life Investing with Joel. You have a great day.